Dear trustees, faculty, my fellow graduates of the class of 2020. <laughs> yes. I have been waiting for two years to tell you about the wondrous Saguaro cactus. Back in 2020, when I first thought of the speech, the World Health Organization had not yet declared a global pandemic. I could not have imagined at the time just how relevant and needed this cactus simile will turn out to be. So please join me today in this botanically inspired meditation. Can you close your eyes for a moment and imagine a scene from a Western movie? the kind that has gripped the imagination of people and endured across cultures and generations. A sleepy town in the middle of an inhospitable but stunning desert. A colorful sunset. The wind blowing while a familiar tune is playing in the background. The lone hero riding on a horse looking for their next adventure, danger oozing from each crevice and corner. Yet, this speech is not going to be about the dashing, rugged hero, nor is it about the discovery of new frontiers. This speech is about the cactus in the background of all of this. Can you see it? It's a mighty 50 plus feet tall cactus with its arms up in the air as if reaching for the sky. This is the saguaro cactus. It's a silhouette as familiar from Western movies as mysterious to most of us. Few people know its name and even fewer can tell you that it can only be found in the Sonoran Desert in Northwestern Mexico in parts of Arizona. The saguaro cactus is a fascinating plant, and in many ways, it reminds me of us, the graduates of the class of 2020. It is not only a symbol of perseverance, but also one of immense potential to do good and to positively impact every creature in its ecosystem. You see, First and foremost, the saguaro is a dedicated and patient cactus. It grows slowly. I can personally attest to this because I started growing one last year. That was one of my pandemic hobbies. The cactus thrives on the scorching heat of the desert or your oven, and it grows one of its arms in about 50 to 75 years. In fact, a 10-year-old cactus is just about this big. It's about an inch and a half. This cactus takes time to grow its lifeline, an extensive root system that supports it through the years. And this is a tale that is familiar to many of us. After all, we spend hours in libraries and labs, in cafes and maybe even bars as we were searching through a multitude of sources, as we designed experiments. And we ran said experiments over and over again until everything was just right. We wrote papers, we wrote proposals, dissertations, we crafted lesson plans, and we taught. We traveled and we conducted field research we presented at conferences, and we organized workshops. And then, then we endured another two years of uncertainty, instability, and too many global tragedies. It has been a long journey with its ups and downs, with moments of great joy and accomplishment, and low points of deep frustration. So as we sit here today, make sure you take time to reflect and to give yourself credit for having earned your doctoral degree 
during a global pandemic and having faced the challenges of the last two years head on. Take a moment to think about the positive impact of our degree and training, of our ecosystem, of the ways in which we have been doing good in the world. It continues to be a critical task right now. At first glance, the saguaro cactus appears to be a lone figure standing out in the desert landscape. Yet, as it turns out, it is inextricably connected to almost every organism around it. Its flowers and pulp provide sustenance to numerous mammals, reptiles, and birds. Its arms, a shelter from the sun for desert birds, big and small. So may we too, like the saguaro cactus, give back to our university, to our home communities, and to our future ones. And as we sit here today, five, six, or seven, plus two years later, let us give each other a round of well-deserved applause. We did it, and we keep on doing it. Congratulations, doctors. Yeah.